In today's video, let's look at the top four AI image generators, put them head to head and see which one performs better. We'll be comparing Dale, Flux.1 with Gronk, Mid Journey, and finally Adobe Firefly. You know the deal. We're gonna do the exact same output for all four of these and see which image is the best. Let's jump in. Welcome back y'all. My name is Corbin Brown and we're gonna be using the exact same prompt for every single one of these AI image providers and see which one is the best. This one be the first one. With every single platform, exact same prompt. For Dale, for Grok, for Mid Journey, and for Adobe Firefly. Let's see what has the best output here. Round one, go. We are loading in, not bad. We got two outputs here from Dali, which is cool. So we got this one, we also got this one. Okay, let's go ahead and check out Flux. All right, not horrible. This one's kind of weird though. Same general direction though, focal point of the draft. Let's check out Mid Journey. Ooh, okay, I like Mid Journey here. Mid Journey seems to be taking the cake here. Let's see which one's the best though. Kind of like this one. The bug eye glasses. This is pretty solid here. I mean, that's kind of interesting. Like the texture there, it's like a sock in a way. Solid. Adobe Firefly. Okay. Adobe Firefly is more like we're we're out here drawing with pastels, pencils, color pencils. You can also edit all these for every single platform. So that's something cool to keep in mind. On to prompt number two here, where I want to explore it creating mockups, right? So like mockups for product design. So the prompt we're gonna be used here, it's gonna be a square black white card, the text mockup, ran black on it, surrounded by Christmas decorations and pine branches on a white background, high resolution, high quality mockup photo of paper. Let's see what's up. You already know, same prompt, different AI image generator. Let's check it out, enter. Ooh. Not bad, not bad at all. I like this. This is actually a pretty big advancement that I've seen with Dali 3 where its ability to pick up on text and actually show it in the image has gotten way better over the last couple months. And what's really cool, especially in this context where it's able to actually handle text is that we can actually automate this. You're probably saying, Corbin, how do, how do we automate it? It is one of the integrations found on Zapier actually, just open AI. And we can use the Dali 3 action here, right there. Generate image with Dali 3. What's really cool is we could use a chat GBT block to create the prompt for that Dali 3 block and get automatic AI images generated. Now, stay tuned here because we're going to show you another way you can do this with a different one. Spoiler, Mid Journey. Let's check out Mid Journey and all the other results here. Not bad from Flux. Not bad at all. They made the text more bold here. The big thing we're testing here is very much can we get text visually shown in our AI images? Mid Journey. Okay. First one's a little off. Second, third, fourth, all pretty good. This one probably being the best for mid journey here. Oh, Adobe Firefly, what happened? Okay, so Adobe Firefly can definitely not do text. Keep that in mind as we just have four white squares with no word of mockup, no good. On to the next prompt. The first prompt was trying to gauge creativity with these kind of outputs when it comes to these AI image softwares. The second prompt was trying to gauge the ability to put text on items. The third prompt here, I'm gonna be very vague. I'm curious on how we'll interpret this prompt. So we're gonna give a vague prompt here saying, trying to get back into work centered life in September and dealing with all the distractions of daily life. Let's just see what happens. You already know the plan, same prompt, four different generations. Let's see it, hit enter. And here we go, not bad. I actually like the second one a lot better than the first one. What's really cool is how contextual it is in the sense of that we have a calendar for September as I notified in the prompt. And obviously the image itself looks very chaotic because we kind of said that. And I don't know what this is. It's like a bunny hybrid. And obviously we need the coffee. Okay, interesting. The one for Flux here is just like a note card that is not legible, <laughs> but we got the coffee. Okay, the one for Mid Journey is not bad here. Whoa, this one's actually really cool. That's cool. That's like really cool. This one reminds me of, you know what I'm talking about, those like YouTube like streams where they just play like lo-fi music. That's what this one kind of reminds me of. But this just shows you how flexible Mid Journey is when it comes to AI image outputs. And let me show you something else cool about Mid Journey. You may not know. We can actually access Mid Journey through API now. And what's cool about this is that we can leverage this API to automatically create Mid Journey images in any context. Therefore, when connecting this kind of Mid Journey API, we can use something like Zapier in a no code way and automatically create Mid Journey images for whatever the context. Give me a context, Corbin. Automatically make an Instagram post. Automatically create an image for something you want to drop ship on a shirt, etc. And then the final one here from Adobe Firefly. It's not bad. But it seems like Adobe's way of approaching these kind of prompts is very much like clip party, more cartoony, I suppose. Last prompt we're gonna test together is gonna be this one right here. Now, I didn't actually make this one. I found this in the community post and I was like, you know what, we gotta test this out as this is extremely specific and very detailed. Therefore, for this specific prompt, we're looking for an output of a hiker at a very specific national park here. We're gonna try this prompt for every single one and see which one looks best. Go ahead and pause if you wanna read the entire prompt. Go. Wow. That just shows you that the more specific you get with prompting with these AI image generation softwares, 
it can get very much exactly what you wanted. I'm already impressed by Dale 3 here, especially this one right here. Like this seems very solid. I, I really like the fact that what it does is it makes like a focal point where the quality is higher here and then it blurs out the edges here. Let's check out the other outputs. Impressive. It's very impressive actually. The fact that they look all so similar across the different platforms here so far is really cool. It really gives you context that yeah, maybe so much so that you need to write longer prompts if you want very exact details. Solid from Flux and scary good <laughs> from Mid Journey here. This is like, uh, this is scary good here. Just shows you where this tech is going. I would say probably this one's the best. This probably looks the most realistic out of all of them so far. I mean, the detailing on the backpack is ridiculous. Look at that, impressive. And not bad from Adobe Firefly at all either. Like we maybe longer prompts work better with Firefly, especially in the sense of this doesn't look too cartoony here. And this seems very passable, pretty solid. What do y'all think? Which output impressed you most today? Which platform do you currently use? And let me know if you're gonna start accessing these AI image generation softwares automatically. Other than that, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. Check out the other videos on this channel here and I'll see you in the next video.